When you first receive your machine, it's highly recommended that you take a backup of your LNC controller, and I'll show you how to do that today. First thing we'll do is we'll input the USB stick in there, and to check that the machine actually reads your USB stick, the best thing to do is go to the program screen, which brings up this, and you'll go into file management, and then you will say USB disk import. If there is something to import, or if the machine actually can read your USB stick, you should be able to see the USB directories on the right hand side. Now we don't need to do anything on the screen, so let's go back to position, and from there I'd like you to press the maintenance key. It's one of the keys on the second, on the first keyboard, and it's denoted with a spanner. This brings up the login screen, and this is where we will be up changing the user. To get the most out of the backup, I recommend we use level 7. And in fact, when we are doing the backups for updating the screen set, we will need the level 7. So press 7, which is shown at the bottom here as input, and you press the input key. The password is 168888, and input again. If you've typed your password correctly, the change will show successful. It's best to take a backup with the network already set. So before you do anything, go into the controls network settings from maintenance, net, and make sure that these IP addresses are set up correctly. It's good to take a backup with the IP address set so that if we needed to go back in and restore from the backup, these IP addresses are there. In order for us to be able to take a backup, we'll go back into maintenance and go into backup. And this will give us a only ready status, no ready status. And this means that you need to be in east to avoid any sudden movement. You need to press the input and then input again. We'll go back into the backup and then you will do just export to USB. That will back up everything, output to USB and from there you just press the transfer button and it will do its own thing. First thing it will do is it will mount the USB it will ask you where you want to do it. Uh, if we press the right hand key on your keypad it will open up further down and you can create a new folder. So let's create a uh, new folder by pressing input going to new folder and then say L N backup and input and then input again and off it goes The second stage in adding our screens, and if you ever needed to update the LNC with a package that's been offered by LNC, is to plug in your USB stick with a folder that, if we go into the programs and file management, uh, and then to USB disk import, we'll be able to see that on the right hand side I have a folder noted by the square brackets called update first install first 6800 you if you have a 5800 you will get one install first 5800 and this allows us to make use of the serial number of your controller to ensure that nobody uh, gets the screens for free and from there once we've defined that we can go back into once we confirm that we can go back into this screen, which is the maintenance screen, and we will press the F8, which is the system update. It'll ask you to press OK to install for USB stick and make sure that you also got the e-stop. So e-stop needs to be firmly pressed. And then you can say OK. Now it will ask you where from the USB stick you want to import the update. And then we'll go to install first, input one more time, and OK. 
it will start looking inside that folder but it allows you to make up your mind and be sure that you really want to do the update so the first thing we'll do is press OK at the bottom right which confirms the upgrade and this is where it starts duplicating the files from your controller saves them and then once that's done it'll ask you to reboot and that you need to press OK again and the system will shut down now and reboot Some of you with earlier versions of the screens may be experiencing some PLC issues whereby the controller becomes unresponsive after a few dozen changes of tools or a few operations on the screens. We have now got a fix for this and the fix should be available to you. What I'd like you to do is copy the directory of the PLC fix uh, onto a USB stick and plug it into your controller. From there, go into main, the maintenance screen, which you should be familiar now with. Press 7 to enter level 7, and then password 168888. Input. This allows us to then go back into the PROG screen. The PROG screen is on the menus just underneath the screen on the left-hand side. And it gives you the option of Maker Macro. So if we click on Maker Macro, and we do Import Export, it comes up with a set of screens like this. Now at the bottom left you will also see the input USB and that's what we need to do. On the left hand side you see what's already in your controller. On the right hand side is what is on the USB stick as denoted by the USB at the top. So we will scroll down to the macro update which I've called my particular directory input and then we will select all and then transfer. The Maker Macro will override because we already have these 1403 and 1405 in your screen set. But if you do just yes to all and input, it will copy them across. Once that's ready, it will tell you transfer complete. And now you should be free from PLC freezes.